Welcome everyone, my name is Comet and today I have for you another episode of Minecraft where I have finally started the construction work for the villagers village right here and I want to show you everything that I have done so far. So um, for those of you that watch my pre that has watched my previous videos, you guys know that this is the um, brilliant room right here. Like I am making so many of these um, villagers per day, it's insane. In fact, uh, I have made so many of them that they tend to spawn two or three golems at a time. It's it's pretty insane. <laughs> um, however, they also die quite fast because there's not much space, you know, so they get trapped in there. Uh, but uh, because now we have a lot of them, I have started to expand. And so that you guys can understand what I want to do. Let me show you one of the little houses that I've started to build, which is going to be the fisherman's hut right there. And this is really what I want to do in general for the entire village. I want to make uh, small areas for each and one of the traders like this. This one, for example, is the, um, the fisherman. You guys can see we can trade for a uh, cod for... Um, um, for stuff, you know, and in the future we're gonna be able to trade more items for um, emeralds, which is really nice. Um, and we can also trade for exotic fish as well. So uh, this is really cool because I am someone who enjoys fishing a lot. In fact, if you have seen my previous videos also, I have this area just right here full of boxes. All of these boxes are full of stuff that I get um by fishing you know such as a lot of bows fishing rods and so on and so forth or simply junk you know that you can find so uh, that is the type of stuff that i want to build and i have started to make the area for the um, uh, for the um the blacksmith right here I want it to be literally in an area where you could have this cave feeling and I think this is perfect, you know. Uh, I will change it though in the future. I'm gonna add lava around it and the best part is that this is built, and uh, let me show you, this is built upon a cave itself, as you guys can see. It's a massive, massive cave. Ooh, there's an enderman over there. That keeps going and on and on. So it, it really is um, cool, and especially, let me show you right here. I think it is here. Yes, it is here. Remember how I told you that the, the villagers tend to make a lot of golems? Well, here's where they end up. <laughs> they end up in this cave because they fall through holes or they simply spawn right here. Um, and which is a nice wait look there's another golem <laughs> yeah um so this is the cave that is um on top of the blacksmith area which i think gives this feeling um uh, like this cave a very realistic feeling I, I love it this is not something that i made by the way all i did was covering this area with dirt like you guys can see it's still um it's still gro like the grass is still growing um, but that's all I did. All of this was natural, like the roof was natural and everything. And that, that's something that I really enjoy for the blacksmith. Um, and to specify which blacksmith villages, I'm going to be putting probably the toolsmith right here. The weaponsmith. Um, well, I think they're the same, not sure. But the weaponsmith, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put the armorer as well. That's going to be really, really good. Um, and then I want to have a third one, but I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, the, the, I'm going to be placing them right here. And it's going to have a lava around it. It's going to have a special booth, um, or like a special area right here, for example, like this. That we can come and trade with the villager without it escaping. So that's going to be really nice. Let me get back to the dirt. 
And just like how I made the house for the fisherman over there, I want to make uh, little stands as well. You know, just like that. I want to make little stands uh, in this area. In fact, let me go a bit far. So that you can see better. So my idea is to use all of that area right there, like this green area right here and the green area over there. Um, over there to, to um, make stands for the food villagers. You know, I'm talking about the meat villagers, um, the farmers, uh, because I want to have many farmers as they tend to give very nice loot. Um, I want to have also, in fact, the meat, the meat villagers, I want to have many of them as well because um, you can trade and get different types of meat materials, you know, especially um, you'll be able to trade stuff like um, rabbits or stuff like um, chicken, beef, pork, etc. Like different type of, of stuff you can trade with them. So having many different um, villagers is going to be really cool. And I want to have a stand right here to make this area feel like a festival. You know, it's going to be like a festival of villagers. It's going to be really cool. And finally, something that I haven't decided what where to put yet. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, a cat just spawned. Little kitty. Uh, something that I haven't decided yet where to put. Um, it's going to be, um, um, the main trading area for emeralds. So the way that I'm going to be farming emeralds, uh, and I'm talking about the Fletchers, you know, because you can trade sticks for emeralds. So it's very cheap. So I want to, I want to make something like a bank. My idea was to make it over here, but not fully sure where to place the bank just yet. Um, same for a library. I would like to have a library and put over there the cartographers um, and the library villagers as well because I want to have many of them. And for the Fletchers, I want to have at least probably 10 of them. Uh, I want to have a lot, a lot of Fletchers, mainly because you can trade uh, the special point arrows with them. Um, and that is something that I want to buy. So I, I, I'm going to need to get many, many different type of Fletchers. And for the... Um, for the librarians, I'm going to need probably five. Plus some cartographers as well and other things that I want to put on the... Um, on the library. And then I want to make the main house because this thing right here like this um little breathing room right here it actually started with only two and i think they are named let me see if i can find them yes look 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 the founding villagers here these two are the original villagers and i want to use these two um to have like a special house for them now if you can you please move from there thank you no you shall not pass <laughs> so i want to have a giant mansion and something like a white house for them uh, i don't know where to put it yet but uh, it's gonna be really cool i feel probably i might put it on top of that mountain or in the middle of or in one of the areas right here at the beginning of the town Oh, and I want to have a science area that could be good because we do get, um, I think there is a type of villager that trades potions with you. So that's going to be really useful as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you um, my ideas, especially the blacksmith area, which I think is going to look fantastic once everything is done. Um, and especially I wanted to show you the little house over here for the fisherman. Ah, so that you guys can understand more or less what I want to do um, with this area. You know, it's going to be a pretty big area. And each area is going to have like a theme. 
in this one for example is water theme you know uh it's, it's not even close to finish in fact i barely just started um building this area i would like to expand on the water right here for example make maybe a boat a boat will be nice um probably here i could make like a swimming pool i don't know um i haven't decided yet but um this is what i have been doing um so far in minecraft and there's a lot more coming in especially because the villagers area is only the beginning you know once that is done we're gonna go straight into or, or probably i might build it in parallel you know the the zoo because i want to make a zoo as well and the main house is going to be very important to make oh we can do that in in the following videos you know we can start finishing the main house or at least start doing something with it because i have many plans for the main house and i already know exactly what i want to do it's gonna be a giant house a, a white house right here that um will have a vision to the entire area or, or a nice view sorry to the entire area right here so that's gonna be really cool um but that's it for now um the construction work has barely begun there's a lot to do and it's gonna be really really fucking cool i just wanted to make this video as a sort of recap because i know that i haven't been uploading videos um minecraft videos that often but that will change very soon so yeah thank you guys so much for watching my name is comet and i am signing out peace